So since my last phone tour, I have gotten a new phone, the Pixel 2 XL, and I wanted to go over it, and I wanted to talk about how I got rid of my social media on it, just my approach to it, and I'll have some links in the description of my references. Okay, so let's get to it. Okay, so before I even touch the phone, I just wanted to talk about minimalism on my phone, and it's something that I did work a little bit at, like it took me a little while to start to figure out what I do and don't need. And that's the whole thing is I really wanted to figure out what I don't need. So I'd get rid of some things and then I was like, oh, I really need that. And I'd take it back. Um, and then I took it to the next level on the aesthetic minimalism uh, theme. So there is minimalism in the true sense of minimalism as intentional living. And then there is the other side of minimalism and the aesthetic minimalism style. And that's kind of where my phone is right now. But I want to start with the actual real minimalism of it is intentional living. And that is by deleting my social media off of the phone or any connection that isn't, I would say, true one to one connection. So Instagram, Twitter, I never have Facebook. Reddit or any other sort of online junk food. And I think that since doing that, my life has changed. I started making videos like crazy. I started punching out work like crazy. I wake up earlier. I get out of bed faster. You would be, everything you think is going to happen actually happens because you're just not doing that. And I have to mention too that as soon as I did do it, like the first day was awesome. I was like, yeah, this is, this is so, so good. Like I'll never go back. But then kind of this really weird, like sense of loss starts happening. And then you don't know what to do with yourself a little bit, at least for myself. And it was just really strange because there is an inherent addiction to something that you enjoy. I love looking at pretty pip people and like beautiful photographs and landscapes and just cool photos and shit like that. It's just like this endless feed of just like more, more, more. It's enjoyable. That doesn't mean I actually enjoy doing it. So when I have like a, a beat in like if I'm waiting in line or something, I just pull out Instagram, and just start scrolling aimlessly. And it became a habit when I'd pull out my phone, I wouldn't have it. And it's like, oh, now what? And then I feel weird. And then I think, and I'd actually have to face some thoughts that I really didn't want. Uh, so there was a transition phase, I'd say about a month or so before I became comfortable. So something to keep in mind if you do start changing into a minimalist, say, phone, as in it serves a certain set of functions. I'd say this to reinforce that maybe removing social media isn't something that is just super easy for you. But I do suggest trying it out Maybe I'll be back, I don't know. So now as far as what, how I do handle social media, I do it all on the computer when it's a deliberate time at the end of the day. I go on and it's an activity that I can actually sit down and enjoy and look at beautiful photos. Also, they're bigger on the computer, so I can really appreciate them. And I can get all my messages through an app uh, and I can see the likes and stuff like that. So the only thing I'm missing is stories on Instagram. Twitter is better on the computer. Facebook is better on the computer. Reddit is better on the computer. Everything I could possibly think of that would be a entertainment is better on the computer. So that's my rule with that. Now everything else as far as what I need and don't need is generally these like stupid apps you download for some reason or a replacement app. And you know, they usually aren't as good or as smooth working as the main thing. Um, and that's just up to debate. So I know we are gonna talk about the phone in a second, but this is important because this is the approach because my phone's gonna look so different than yours. It's important to understand why I'm doing something or what it is because it'll take two seconds for me to go through my phone. So, and then you have the style side of minimalism, which is like just very clean and less confusing. So that's super easy because that was just one thing I had to change. Okay, so let's get into it.
So this is the home screen. You'll notice that it looks a little bit different than the stock Pixel because I am using Nova Launcher. And this allowed me to change a few really minor things that I really, really wanted to do about its appearance, which is like the icons, which are white cons. That just allowed me to do cool things like just change, let's say whatever my YouTube is to a goat or a dinosaur, pirate ship, or like just like email into a anchor. Um, other than that, this is it. There's no nothing else. And then on the top, we have the weather and my calendar, which is just like the stock one, but I had to use, it was called another widget. And that allowed me to just kind of tweak it a little bit more to my liking with this Nova launcher, uh, because there's just a little couple things that are weird with the Nova launcher. But other than that, I said it once and I've never had to mess with it. I really recommend it. I avoided it for so long because there were so many buggy things with the launchers. Until 2018 now, it's stable and it's perfect. It's done, it's awesome. In the Nova launcher, I got this Google thing so I can use, in the integration section of Nova launcher, I activated the Google Now page which I'll link how to get that, get my feed here. This is my, if I'm waiting for a while in the waiting room or something like that, or if I'm waiting for the train, this is my read an article thing, which is far better ADD control than say the social media, because it isn't just a like, oh, I can just jump in there for like two seconds and just do whatever. It actually is more of like a five minute uh, boredom recovery. So. That really kind of sums up the whole phone. Really, there's not much more than that. In here, I just have my music, basically. I have a notepad and I have my YouTube. And then as far as these go, it's just basic ones on the phone, like Gmail and you know Uber and stuff like that. But there really isn't anything other there on there other than you know just a couple things that I really use every single day. Uh, or a clutch tool that I need for day-to-day -day life in New York. So that's really it. I hope this helps you out and gives you a couple ideas or inspires you to remove a lot of the junk off of your phone because for me, this phone is super functional and it's not a toy. It's just something that I use to have as a, like a toolbox instead of a lifeline. And I live my life in the real world, which I wasn't so much doing, say six months ago, or until I actually deleted the social media. So that's it, and I hope this helps. Till next time, peace.